Okay, it's kind of a little update on what I'm doing, but I'm actually working on the coin purse right now. I think to create these mini coin purse, you know, I'm just did the one side as you can see. So it looks quite sparkly. So I'm just kind of give you like a rough demonstration on how I kind of work on this center part. And what I do, I haven't really done a lot of how-to videos, but I figured, you know what, since I'm working on this, give you guys some insight on what I do and kind of how I work. So right now I'm using a turquoise Picasso size 13. Let me get this in focus for you guys. Right there, size 13. Charlotte cut. Charlotte, light blue, turquoise, Picasso. I think that's what it says. But yeah, you need a size 13 bead with some size 13 needles and a size 12 to tack down using two needle technique to do this portion. I am only using single thread because these are some small beads, smaller than 11s. And I do tend to break needles quite often, but. Yeah, so general two needle is just basically one needle has your beads and your secondary needle has is your tack down needle. So I start by coming to the back and tacking down the first bead. Oop. I do get caught in the corners every now and then, but that's fine. But tack down the first bead and tack down every two afterwards and work my way in a circular motion and yes I do work from the outside in it's just to keep my designs symmetrical when I'm doing two different patterns and plus it kind of I think it kind of helps me out with design layout it makes this piece go by faster because as you go in towards the center you're doing less and less beating. Unlike when you're going outwards, you're doing a lot of beating and trying to get it's more tedious. But on a big piece like this, it's kind of hard to get um, your hands in the right position because I am working in a circular pattern here and as you can see I move my hand with the direction I'm going and I'm actually curling my piece under which the graph paper is sitting on top of Palon P-E-L-L-I-O-N Palon 70 I don't be directly on two buckskin because it's these needles would snap and break quite easily. But this is a ultra fabric stabilizer and you can find out Michael's the Joann's Walmart. Basically if you Google it, you can um, see it. And you can find where the nearest location to where you are and get it. Or have it shipped to mail to you. So I just move in a circle, like I said, tacking down every two beads as I go along. This doesn't seem that long because, like I said, I'm working in a smaller area. And I just work around, work around. I don't put too much tension on my work because, or my thread that has beads. I'm more pushing it forward enough to get it to curve with the line. And 
I just push and push the beads in place. So there, kind of roll it upwards. And I'm beating from the outwards, it's on, no, from the center out, just to help the beads roll upwards into the last beads, the top beads, I guess, the last row of beads. So I think this one. I did do three so I can go back. Once if I do get three, I do go back and get that last bead. Just to ensure every two is tacked down and I am tacking down every two beads. So there and up and there. a few more but this goes for earrings and other things I do when I'm beating actually everything I beat so your tingle you can allow yourself to have more beads on your thread because you're not limited to just stopping and having to break extra beads off like if you're doing a single needle So tingle, you can actually add more beads on and if you have too much, you can go through and just take the excess off without having to waste beads by breaking them and set them aside in the tray or what have you. But here's a point where it is coming to the last or the first set of beads I put on. I just run my needle through two or three, sometimes four beads of that first row. And then it makes it one cohesive piece. And I keep beating all the way up to where it butts up together. Like so. Like that. And now just make sure things flat. Add maybe a extra stitch or two, make sure everything's good. And get this other one and run it flat uh, through it like so and there it is it's nice so that's the same thing I did just around the whole thing circle 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 and you work the boy towards the center I mean that's basically what I do for all my pieces all my round pieces and it works out so hopefully that this little demonstration, this little demonstration helps you out with some questions you have. I mean, if you have more questions, you can put them down below, but that's all I have for you guys for now. So, thank you guys for watching. It does look like a, it reminds me of a cassette tape, but like I said, it'll be folded in half and be a coin purse. So then I'll give another video update probably tomorrow on how far I've gone and maybe another little demonstration on beating. Thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoyed that.